So what I'm going to work on today is I'm going to pop off, I'm going to pop, pop the axle off, replace the springs and the U-bolt assembly and pop things back on and I might I might give it a paint job today I've got all the, the hardware here I need to put on the new springs like I say the axle looks pretty good spindles look pretty good so I'm going to keep the axle and the springs they may be okay but they're 30 years old so I'll just replace them with the new 3,500 pound springs 3,500 pounds in spares so they've got three leaves on them or I'll, I guess four with this uh, these are the brackets I was talking about earlier. See these ones here? That's longer there. These are a different configuration. Might not be a big deal, but I'm not quite sure. And again, different up here, different kind of configuration. It might work, but I'm not a welder, so I don't want to start farting around with welding if I don't have to. Uh, so, I've got to take these off here, these off here. New U-bolts. Uh, underplate these ones here change those uh, the seat here for the axle that is actually welded to the axle so I won't I won't put the new ones on I'll just return those I don't seem to have a big enough compressor to give me enough uh, power to take these nuts off uh, so I'm gonna take the grinder see if I can grind them off uh, these also, they may be spot welded on there too. I'm not quite sure. I can't really tell. So I'll take the grinder. We'll grind that down. I just have to pop off the top one. The back one came off okay. And then uh, I was also having difficulty wrenching these off. So I've got new U-bolts. So I'll just cut these off as well. Now I did cut that from the outside. So I had this shackle here as protection because I didn't want to cut into this. I didn't want to cut into this here. If I did, then I'd have to take these off and put new ones on. So that seemed to come out okay. Now we'll go down. We'll do the same on the U-bolts. Uh, Again, here. I'll have to be careful not to cut into this, into the seat for the uh, for the axle. And yeah, that's about it on here. I do have the axle supported on this jack in the middle. It's locked in position. And I'll have to put, I think I'm going to just for safety sake, is I'll put some blocking under here as well, closer to this axle. And the other one is supported, it's still attached. Up. The axle is blocked up, so it's not going to move, just weld it to the axle. What I'll do is I'll give this a, uh, maybe a light sanding and then a spray of paint. Clean this up a bit, just to, just to make it all nice and black. So now, it'll just be a matter of popping out this bolt and that bolt and putting the new spring on. Okay, so this, it has nylon bushings in there. I'll replace the bushings. I'll check these over. Spray paint where I can right now while I have access to it. From this side, everything looks good. The welds look good and strong. Nothing here, no deformities. Now the axle, exactly where it should be, it's all propped up, it hasn't moved. I'll clean this up a bit. Got some sand in there from the sandblasting. I'll uh, clean that out and maybe paint over everything. Now I've got the hardware, I just gave it a quick spray with a, with a spray bomb. It's over there drying right now, so once it's dry, we'll, put, uh, we'll start putting everything back on. There's the new ones. you setting up the spray gun again just for this little job. I'll just do this. Once everything's back on, then I'll give everything a second coat. Here's the bushings I have. I only need two of these, actually. You'll notice the leaf springs themselves, they already have bushings in them. So I'll just, this is for up here. Here's the old one that's come out. Of course, it's worn through and whatnot. So a new bushing will go in there. So you know what this, uh, spring seat does 
So that hole there, which is on the bottom of that, will line up with that nut, just so you can position it, position it properly. Got all my gear lined up here, ready to go. Uh, I've never done this before, but I just I had a certain train of thought. I just went and checked eTrailer.com. They've got lots of videos on doing stuff like this. I just wanted to find out the proper procedure and proper torque for the nuts and whatnot. So essentially, I'll start here, just put the bushing in. These nuts, you can see they've got their uh, serrated there, or whatever you call it. So that'll go into that. The shackle, or the hanging shackle, I think that's what it's called. And then I'll just have to either torque those in, just so it goes in, and gives us a nice tight fit. Okay, so I've got these hanging here right now. Everything's still loose. It's not tightened up or anything right now. Now I'll make sure these are oriented the same way the other ones were. This clip here seemed to go towards the front of the trailer. Okay, that's there loose right now. Now I'll put the drill uh, bolts and the plates on. The bottom plate here too that goes, this will go on the bottom of the spring. It's got the centering hole there too for the other end of that bolt that goes through the spring. Just so things can be centered up. Okay, so I've got this partially on. Just the back two, loosely. Now I've got to get my spring, so this hole here on that backing plate will go over the nut, to, or the bolt on the bottom. And the top of this bolt here fits up in the circle, or in the middle of that spring seat. Just leave them loose and uh, give yourself some wiggle room. And according to the e-trailer, these will have to be snugged up evenly on all four sides. And they say just till the plate here starts to bend a bit, that should be enough torque. They don't give an actual specification. And everything's just loose here right now. Now hopefully I can line these holes up here. Give me a bit of play. Make sure you get all your lock washers on. Just to help line things up, I've, it was easier access from this side, so I just put that in from there. This way the holes should line up on the other side. And I should be able to just tap that in. There we go. I think once I put the gun on there, that should suck those in so they're nice and tight on the other side. Now with that axle blocked up there, and actually there as well, it's not just hanging. Like I noticed when they did it on the e-trailer, they just let this part here hang, supported by the uh, everything on the other side. So I'm going to just jack it up here a bit, just let that axle basically hang, just see where everything sits, because you can see right now the shackles there are pointing that way, whereas on the other side they're just straight up and down. I just want to jack it up, take the pressure off, and just see these should hang. Everything should just hang properly, and then I'll start snugging things up. Now, for the most part, all the tension is off that. Now, these new springs, too, they've got more tension in them, so that could be the reason for the angle. I'm going to have to check on that, though. We'll see once everything's tightened up where these sit. And then I'll have to check on the proper angle for that. I lined up the holes on the spring seat with the bolt on the spring. Same thing with the plate underneath and the bolt. Now what I'll have to do is get under here. I want to tighten these all up evenly. I'll start at one, work on the other, just do a crisscross pattern. And they just have to be close. And then they say just tighten them till the plate just starts to bend. That'll be enough torque. Here they are, all tightened up evenly. There's that bolt coming through the hole in that plate there, just where everything lines up. And from the top, this is all seated in here good. I might 
this is just starting to bend up slightly. I might give it just another couple little cranks just to make sure. Now here are those here are those serrated bolts on the other side. Hopefully I can get the air gun on the other side and that should uh, when I put pressure on it that should suck that in. The nuts that go on the bolt that hold the shackles and the springs under your frame. It's a specialty nut. Probably have these markings on them here, but it's a compression nut, so you don't need a lock washer or anything with these. I don't know if it's tapered down on the inside on one end, so when you put them on, it squeezes and won't come off. Just a note. So I just tightened that up till this bolt was sucked right in flush with this. Everything's tightened up on this side. So now it's just repeat the procedure for everything on the other side. And again, I'll have to check on the angle of that shackle there. Okay, hey, after doing a little more research, like I say, this was bothering me, the angle there. That is not the right way. Uh, these are 750 pound springs, but they're a bit longer. They're about 1.75 inches longer, which you do not want. And they've only got four leaves on them. Whereas I look at, these are my old ones, they've got five leaves. So they are a different configuration. So that's very important. So that's my mistake, uh, but not a big deal. These are the new ones here. I'll just take those and it's the same procedure that we went through. So I'll take these, these ones off, take those back to where I got them and I'll put the uh, proper ones on. Okay on the bottom there that that's my old spring there's a bit of a gap bit of a gap right there on that one so that was a little questionable I mean not a big deal I'm gonna keep those as spares for whatever they'll probably just end up staying in my shop forever these are the new ones on top so they've got the proper spacing between the eyes and the proper number of leaves uh, the fellow at the place there said that's pretty much a standard for them here. It's a Canadian thing. Uh, the ones that are on the trailer here right now, the ones that I thought were the proper ones, that's, uh, he mentioned that's more in the States. Seems to be a standard down there for uh, trailer sizes. So that's probably the major difference. I just had it in my head that a 1,750 pound spring was a 1,750 pound spring. I stand corrected. So we'll make a note of this. So this essentially, this is rear of the trailer, front of the trailer that way. So this is with the wrong spring. And so it's a little bit too long. And it's uh, only a four leaf as opposed to a five leaf. Okay, we'll put the new one on. The proper one and we'll see the, should be able to see the difference. I know here we are about 20 minutes later. So the proper spring is on. I'll give them a paint job. They had a little bit of rust on them. But you notice here, this is more straight down. There's a slight angle towards the rear, which is the way the uh, originals were. 